weeks of thunderstorms canceled Wednesday night racing. So all of the scores will stand from series one and tonight will mark the first race of series number two. The Etchells, the J80s, and the 105s had really tight leaderboards. The J105s, they had a tie for first. And also, keep an eye on Perf Zero this next series because they had four boats win a race. That's pretty impressive. Perf Zero is first up on the line. CNC 30 deciding they like the boat end. Let's give a shout out to Zool, Calavela 2, Sly, Windborn, and Money Penny, the J111 of the Comforts, all in Newport right now after doing the Annapolis to Newport. J35s and the J and the Perf One Division share a starting line. MI2, Dave Malkin, our victor from Series One by two measly points over QA2. Individual recall, somebody's over. That was a viper. You can afford to do that. Ah, uh, that's Paul on aftershock. Ten seconds to go for the J105s. Definitely one of the more contentious groups. Mirage and Doghouse tied in Series 1, and they are all pushing the line hard. We can't see the pin anymore. Can race committee? Another individual. Wait for this list to be a little bit longer. Well, key players got off to a great start, Ashley. I mean, yes. seriously. The middle of the line really pushed each other over. Key players had the whole starboard end to start all to themselves, leading this race so far. Five boats were over, and only three went back. Uh-oh. Joining up with Perf Zero on their way out to a mark near R2. And we have our J111 Velocity with Marty Roche. Back from his A to N adventures, leading the pack. And close behind, Rod Jabin's Far 30 Ramrod, adjusted with a new bowsprit. And Mumbles. Hello, Marty. Yes, in the, in the backdrop, Ramrod is our class leader from last series. A long port ley line approach. Every bowman's dream, isn't it, first? <laughs> Velocity around first. Absolutely. This is a J111 day slush fund around in second by about 30 seconds. As I mentioned before, four boats got a bullet last series, including Corey Bantic, who's about to round now. But about fifth around the mark is the CNC 30 with the best set of all. He must have beaten everybody by about 40 seconds. And it's showing, he's catching up fast.
Ashley, this is my favorite shot. You like Jimmy Sager home in the lead? Two J35 Magnum EFG, they've been at it for forever. <laughs> yes, and it's working out quite well. The Sager home, I'm going to bring as many friends as possible on board. You know what? This is the only guy in the world I don't think anybody else can beat when the wind blows a little bit. Maybe it's because it's his super crew. <laughs> They've always been good in this stuff. Go ask Maggie. And it's a J35 night in this Perf 1 J35 start. Not a Perf 1 boat in sight. No spinnaker for T-Bone. Here's the first Perf One Boat Seaburger, the light blue hull with the blue spinnaker going up now. up the fleet. Mirage, that's definitely a common boat to see in the lead. Wind River, Mark Alert in second place. Usually likes the back row seat of the classroom, but he's getting a close-up of that chalkboard tonight. Smoking Oakham, third around, David Scheidt. The key players hung in, hung in there, yes? They sure did. It'll be a long starboard all the way home. And the rest of the 105s are all gonna show up at this mark at the exact same time. Harrigan throwing it in there. They lost a little distance on key players. everyone to the long mark tonight. Etchell's 80s. Good night to go long. The J30s also going on the long course. 830. Infectious smile, Tristan and his wife in the lead. Her name's in the lead? <laughs> And the Allberg 30s will have a short course and mix them back up with the rest of the fleet. How often do you see this? A jibe around the nun back to home. That is peculiar. Aunt Jean, the first J35, headed to the barn. Xeburger. A province in Western Europe where the owner is front from is you call the person a Seaburger if they're from there and they are the first in Perth's one around the nun. A bit of a struggle on there, uh, Ash, on aftershock. 
Yeah, they're struggling on this tight reach. Two boats ahead of them. T-Bone has lost their spinnaker entirely to your right of the frame. And Abby on tow chose to go with the jib. Small, uh, small pole problem. Ah, the poles are out of the way, Dash. I told you that. <laughs> Just keep holding on, man. You got it. Perseverance, I love it. Bit of a hang up for T-Bone. They have both sheets in the guy, maybe? I'm not sure how you get both clues. Oh, the spinnaker has a wrap on the force day as well. Kirsten on the bow working hard trying to figure that one out. Mark Beasley on his rattle and rum. Catching the last gusts out here in the river before they head into the mooring field. Hold on. Coming into home, the pressure has dropped dramatically because they are in the street puff zone. <laughs> Greg Gindel on the bow of Rattle and Rum with Joanna trimming. Seaburger about to cross the line, but I think Rattle and Rum might have this one on correction. What makes you say that? Because they're supposed to be slower and they're not that slower by a lot. Well, if you're gonna have to take two weeks off and then come back, tonight's pressure, wind, conditions was well worth the wait. Thank you so much, Bruce Nairn, our producer from behind the camera, Boatyard Bar and Grill, the Annapolis Yacht Club. For T2B TV, I'm Ashley Love, and hopefully we'll see you next week. <laughs>